Lawang, Seoul. A thousand door building of ghosts. Asia, the largest continent of the world and arguably one of the oldest civilization in the history of mankind, has good numbers of haunted locations spread all around the continent. Most of these haunted places have horrific history which has shaped the paranormal activities that take place there from the past to the current time. Indonesia is home to one of these airy places. At the center of the beautiful Javanese city of Semarang in Indonesia stands the Lawang Seoul, an over 100 years old building that has served different purposes from being a building owned by a railway company to becoming a dreaded prison and touch a ground for war prisoners. Stay with me as I reveal why this landmark location is regarded as second most haunted place in the whole of Asia. You are on Daily Horror. Here we bring you gravest of horrors the lock around in our world, most of which are around you and you don't even have an idea. So if you are thrilled by terror and consider yourself brave enough to face any dreadful situation, subscribe and turn on your notification to get notified anytime we put up a new video. Lawang Seoul meaning Thousand Doors, is one of many colonial buildings in Indonesia. It was built between 1904 to 1907 by the Dutch East Indian Railway Company and used as their headquarters. It was named Lawang Sewo by locals which translates to Thousand Doors because it has so many doors. During World War II, the Japanese occupied Indonesia and Lawang Seoul was taken over by Japanese forces. It is said that many of the Dutch soldiers were killed by Japanese soldiers. Many others were captured and imprisoned and host of others were eventually executed on the ground. In October of 1945, the city of Semarang was once again retaken by the Dutch at the Battle of Semarang. Dutch soldiers used the tunnel underneath one of the buildings to sneak into the city. Numerous Indonesian soldiers were killed and they are believed to roam the walls of the building till today. Many reported to have encountered ghosts or what seems to be ghost activities while touring the building. It is said that one can hear the screams of the Dutch soldiers in pain as they are being massacred by the Japanese soldiers. There are also reports of apparitions of ghostly creations drifting around the corridors of the building. According to one of the Lawang Seo building guards, one of the points where the visible creature often shows itself is the front door. 
It is believed the god figure at the door in the opposite direction is a Dutch soldier that was killed by the Japanese soldiers at the entry of the building. If anyone is aware of the ghost troop, it will begin with a slight wind or breezy breeze accompanied by mysterious odors ranging from fragrant incense to the rancid smell of rotten blood. Could this be any true? Are these ghost stories about Laowang cells sustainable? Different parts of the building is said to be specifically haunted by specific ghosts. There is an old well in the yard of the Laowang Sewell building. It is said that from this well, people often heard the sound of screams, pain, fear. In fact, the well was locked and never opened. There is a prison and a bunker that has a hallway called the Ghost Hallway. According to local people, if you stay and squat there, you will be able to see human-shaped shadows. The reason appearance of the large gate before heading to the main room. Some claimed to have seen a large black hand, some saw Pokong with a broken face, and someone claimed to have seen a white shadow that could pass through walls. Portages of headless soldiers and prisoners are reportedly seen walking the grounds of Lawang Seoul, as well as the Dutch woman who committed suicide in the building. Though the building has been revamped and beautified with almost every corner's lit, people still believe there are still presence of ghosts in the building. Some experts claim that physical apparitions in the building may decrease due to presence of constant light and tourists in the building. It is said that the presence of these phantom entities in these buildings can still be felt in different ways. This location is truly haunted as claimed? Have you been to the Lawang Seoul? Let us know your thoughts in the comment sections. We'll surely engage them. Please remember to like and share this video. It encourages us to put up more content. Till we come your way again, stay spooked. Coming up in the next episode, we will bring you 6 most terrifying ghost encounters caught live on camera. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification so you don't miss out on this episode.